Hi there, welcome back. And in this video we're going to be taking a look at a filter that has been recommended to me on numerous occasions by many of you lovely viewers. It's an internal filter and it is from... Uh, <laughs> I call it CK because uh, I'm a scholar of Latin and double C is uh, K. You CK. S-I-C-C-E. I know a lot of you guys in America call it Sitchi. I'm not sure where you got the H from, but it is that. You pronounce it how you want, but I'm going to be saying CK, as in the Latin slash Italian. And this is an Italian made pump. And this one is the Shark Pro 900 internal filter. I'll just give you a few facts and figures from the manufacturer before we get going, before we take a look inside it. Um, there's three models in this range. There's a 500, 700 and a 900. So firstly it's recommended for an aquarium size or aquarium capacity of 180 to 260 litres or 46 to 70 US gallons. The foam filtration surface in this thing is approximately 300 square centimetres or 48 square inches. It's only 10 watts, so it's not going to cost you much to run. It pumps 900 litres an hour, or 240 US gallons per hour. And the electric cable is a surprisingly short 2.2 metres, or 7.5 feet. And a little bit like Volvo cars, I have heard them described as being boxy and good. Okay, so you can see the foams through the side there, and also through there. We've got three sections on this particular filter. So the water's drawn through the sides, it then goes into the pump and is spat out of here, but we can alter it to make it spit out of here as well. So you have like a spray bar effect, standard outlet, or you can add that on, which will allow it to draw air in for a venturi effect, and that can be swiveled around. So you can direct the water up or wherever you want it in the tank. And it's also got a flow adjuster on the top here to adjust the output. Obviously, if you adjust the output, it will adjust the amount of water that's getting sucked in. So you don't want to turn it down too far. Now on the back here, we've got a couple of magnets, one of which sticks to the main body of the filter. That's that one. Like that. And then this other one goes on the outside of the glass. Whoops. So it would sandwich the two pieces together. If you want to take the filter off, you would simply remove it and the magnets would stay stuck on the glass. And likewise, the pump head attaches with a magnet like that. So if you want to just leave everything connected but just take the bottom part off for cleaning you just take it away and stick it back. Now if you want to remove the pump head for cleaning and maintenance it just clicks off. So that's it there. Pretty substantial and not badly priced as well. I will put details to it in the video description. So let's have a look inside take the head off. These just push apart like that, which is pretty good. And they clip back together like that. Yeah, apparently one of them is called Zero Foss and the other one is Bio Pearl. So obviously one of them is meant to be a biological media, the other one is a chemical media, which will need replacing now and again. That will be the phosphate one. Oh, I love the way that they fit together. That is solid. Absolutely solid. You know, it's, you're never going to lose them. It's square construction, made of good quality plastic, fits together well, and you get the option of buying extra boxes to fit on here, so you can basically just make it as long as you want. The top section just fits on in exactly the same way that these fit together. Very securely. 
and then your pump head sits back on there. And then your pump head sit, just sits back on top of here. Oh, I forgot to mention, that's where the water gets sucked out through the filter. So it goes in through all the sides, into the middle here, up through all the different boxes, out there, into the pump, and then spat back out to your tank. That's it, ready to go again. And here's where we have a problem. Too far, but watch when I tilt this up slightly. That magnet is not strong enough. Fair enough, when this thing is in the water, you know, the relative weight of this bottom section won't be much. I don't think it's going to drop off in the water, but that is a very weak magnet. And this one is pretty weak as well. Again, I don't want it to drop too far, but you know, it's easy just to remove that magnet. These two do stick reasonably well together, but it's nowhere near the attraction that we had with a previous sort of magnetic attachment filter, which I think was called a Tunzi. That was ridiculously strong. They could definitely, definitely, whoop, they definitely need to beef that up. Because that is not strong enough at all. That's a massive letdown. Especially seeing as I want to put different media in here, which will increase the weight. So if we choose to fill these up with a sort of filter media, I would go with the bio gravel. That's the most efficient way you're going to fill that thing. And when you fill it, you can get approximately 150 grams into each one of these little containers. Uh, I'm not sure what that is in ounces or whatever you guys in the US use, but I will put that along the bottom now, once I've looked at it on Google. <laughs> So that's it, filled with the bio gravel. It's going to make this really efficient, but it's also going to add weight to this thing. So just bear that in mind. As I say, it should still be perfectly fine, as long as it's under the water. You know, the relative weight will be a lot less under water. But if it's in water, but if you're taking the whole thing out of the water, just support the bottom and the top, because you cannot trust that magnet. In fact, I would give you that advice no matter what media you choose to use inside of here. Even if you just leave it how it comes from the manufacturer. Fanning around with the foams and so on, trying to squeeze different grades of foams in here, because it will draw from all of these compartments at the same time, possibly more so from the top than it will from here, but as these ones get clogged, it will then start to draw from here, and as they get clogged, it will then start to draw from here. So, the, the media is pretty well protected, you know? You can get away without a fine pad. You've got plenty of sponges in here. So really, in summary on this one, my initial excitement has kind of been superseded by an air of disappointment. I was kind of hoping that there would be some way to block off some of these intakes so you could drag all the water through the bottom, then through the middle, and then through the top. That way you could stratify whatever you wanted in here. It would be a lot more efficient. Uh, you know, it is well made, but it doesn't really offer you much more over anything else that's out there. You know, if any, of having the magnetic attachments, but they need to be stronger. Uh, yeah, it's well made. This is a really difficult one because I was genuinely excited about this particular filter and I hadn't even looked into it to see how it worked, but people were raving about it and I can't, I can't really see why they're getting so excited about it. You know, there's nothing really that special about it. It's got the same magnetic attachments as a Tunzi filter. 
except these are much weaker. Suspiciously weak. I mean, dangerously weak. You know? Uh, the flow rate's okay. The wattage is okay. It's got, a, you know, the nice feature that you can have that integrated spray bar in there. Bird of the day is just disappointed. I was expecting it to be really innovative. You know, set itself apart from the competition. And whilst it has some nice features, it's certainly very easy to get into that pump to maintain it. That's a, that is a probably is the main bonus, which a lot of folks will just not even recognise as being a bonus, because sometimes on these pump heads, you've got to get a pair of pliers to pull this blooming cover off, you know. But that one just comes off so easily, so easy. Strangely, I think that is the main bonus of this filter. <laughs> it's very easy to pull apart, it's easy to put back together, uh, it'll be easy to maintain as well. Especially seeing as you can leave that attached to the tank and then take that away to be cleaned. You know, that's a good feature. So, you know, in fairness, it does have some good features. Um, yeah, it does. Um, I feel like I'm being a little bit harsh on it. It's kind of got everything you need. So I'm going to stop whinging now. If any of you guys have used this particular filter or any of the other ones in this particular range, by all means, put your reports in the comment section of this video. That's what it's there for. You know, I mean, you have a much greater input into people deciding whether they want to buy this filter or anything else that's been featured in these video series because you've used them all. You know, I haven't used them all. I couldn't possibly have used like 80 odd different filters. Maybe if I still had my shop, I could have because we, I think we had about 100 tanks then. But um, I would have been crazy to buy that amount of filters, you know. So I'm really appreciative for you guys sending me these filters, take a look at, upgrade, and then send you back. This one, check out the comments below. Um, hopefully, people who've used this will comment there. We'll put honest reviews there because that's what it's all about. There's so many fake reviews online for everything. Um, in the comment sections, that's where you seem to get honest feedback so check that out also check out the video description and the pinned comment because it will have important links in there what size tank i would recommend this for um what was it 180 liters to 260 or something yeah i mean it would keep that amount of water clear there's no way it's going to reduce the nitrate in that there just simply isn't enough proper media in there but it'll keep it clean and healthy you know I mean this is kind of the equivalent of uh, the dual medium filter dual M filter in terms of size and actual usable space inside the filter so dual one didn't work broke down or you just had enough of it because it took up too much space that'd be quite a good replacement Similar size, wouldn't really get as much filter media in, but if you buy extra compartments, you know, as I said, you could extend that the full height of the tank. So you could, mm, most reasonably deep tanks, get another two of these sections on. That would make it into a bit of a beast. From the disappointment of the weak magnets, which, to be fair, probably won't be a problem when this is submerged in water. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good filter. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.